now joined by Loyola Hick, Bradley Toomey, student athletes, Zach Awires, and Pat Spencer. First, we'll start off with a brief statement by coach, followed by questions for the student athletes, and then we'll send the guys back, and then we'll have questions for coach. Uh, coach, you want to start off? First of all, I want to uh, I want to congratulate North Carolina on a great game today. Um, they're a terrific team. They're playing with so much emotion right now. And, uh, you know, I think that caught us off guard, the speed of the game. And, uh, you know, like like I said to my team, uh, I asked them to show me their heart at halftime, and I thought they did. All right, now we'll open it up for questions for the players first. along those lines, just how did you guys respond to that hole and, and, and you know, did you feel like you were able to, to keep things in for about as long as possible? Uh, Zach, you want to go ahead and take that first? Um, you know, I think the offense kind of just really stuck with the game plan. Um, you know, with the stats, uh, I think the offense did a good job. You know, we capitalized on our opportunities. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we were in sequence of a big win. Um, you know, we wish them the best moving forward. Pat, anything on yeah, I just think Graham started to pick it up and the pace off that toes where we uh, really started to get it going. And once we started being able to play, make a take it, so we can't have a lot of time. All right, the middle here, wait for the mic. One second. Um, Pat, do you feel like, in particular, you, know, you, got, you were able to get your guys on and you know, feel said that you were able to kind of get what you wanted offensively? Uh, yeah, a couple of like back where I flipped a couple times trying to get my foot in, but for the most part, I thought we got what we wanted offensively. Uh, like Zach said, we stuck to our game plan. We thought we had a good game plan going in. And we were really efficient today. We were really efficient today. Uh, moved the ball and got great look. But what their goals, so uh, not too bad. Rich Mack and Zach, uh, can you just describe what that first quarter looked like, especially in the field where you're watching it as <coughs> Stay really positive all day. Uh, that's what that was our goal going in, and um, you know our goal, our mindset was one goal at a time. Can't make up nine goals in one possession, so we were really focusing on just sticking to our game plan, trying to can the shot that we got, and uh, keep working hard to get open looks. I so thought we did a great job of that. Unfortunately, it's not enough. Thanks, Pat. Zach, can you think on that? Um, yeah, I know. I think the offensive the other end was trying to stay composed. Um, like Pat said. He so, you know, every time we were bringing it up, we were just staying one more, one more, you know, really got nothing to lose when you're down by nine. You know, you just got to be efficient. I think that's what we did there today. For you both guys, can you talk about the start you guys had in the third quarter? I think it started at the act again. Um, once we got the ball, we were able to keep getting possessions over and over. Uh, we were able to play at our pace, which is what we'd like to do all year. Play at our own pace. And, Questions for Coach now? Very good. 
front. Hold on for a second. I'm going to bring the mic over for you all. Can you just talk about what was most denied doing that made things very difficult for you guys? You know, they, they did everything we saw that they were going to do on tape, you know, quite honestly. Um, we talked about, you know, the, the approaches that we were taking to the ball. You know, we were not taking great, smart approaches. And forcing people. We're a team that likes to force people to their weak hands. And, um, you know, and slide when it's when it's time to slide, but try and win a matchup when we can. And uh, and they really did a good job of dodging and you know kind of creating a situation where you know, the guys are concerned: are we coming near man or are we coming from the crease? And I think that moment of indecision killed us. And and we had a lot of moments of indecision. And when we did slide, we just didn't take great approaches to the ball. We didn't give our goalies a chance to make saves today, and that was the most disappointing thing. We felt like if we could dig in and play solid defense, that North Carolina might bail us out by taking a 15 to 17 yarder. And uh, and in that first quarter, really, everything was on top of the crease. And then when they did get the 15 yarder, that one went in too. Um, so we kind of were in a little bit of a tailspin. Um, we, we played about four different defenses in the first half. And, uh, you know, we, we felt like the zone may have slowed it down just a little bit. But, um, you know, it's tough when you give up that, that 15 or 16 yarder in the zone get to it and it goes in so uh you know they are who they are i mean they're the athletic team in the midfield uh Pontrello is terrific i think we are glad we didn't short stick cloutier today because uh you know he was terrific i mean he, he was excellent and um you know if you if, if they get you sliding and they're banging the ball they're going to end up with some finishers that are around the cage and, and it could be a long day sure in the back Charlie, you mentioned asking your team to show their heart in the second half. What else do you say to your squad in a situation like you guys were in at halftime? We, we talked exactly what the boys talked about is the efficiency. We, uh, when we had the ball, we felt like we could score. And when we had the ball, I think we may have been five of seven in our possessions at one point, you know, and we just weren't getting the ball down there. And it really early started at DX. Um, you know, Kelly was terrific today at DX, especially in the first half. Um, we felt like, you know, do you fix the, the defense and really try to step us out of character and chase the ball around and slide early where now it might open up more opportunities for North Carolina or do we change the face-off X and try to get a couple extra possessions there and maybe we can get some make and take it opportunities. And so we talked about putting two short sticks up on the wings. We played with an offensive midi and a short stick up there. Um, and, and quite honestly, Graham just got him. I mean, he, he showed us his heart. He bowled his neck in that second half. He started to win some 50-50s, and, um, you know, he gave us that chance to claw back in. I think there were, you know, again, some opportunities that on those on those ground balls that we wish we would have come up with, you know, maybe a finishing shot, you know, on top of the crease that we go behind and back, which we haven't really done all year. Um, but, you know, like I said, when you're, when you're looking up at that scoreboard, just like the guys were at nine, you know, there are a lot of motions on the sideline, and all we kept asking them to do was stay the course, you know, to just kind of continue to win, to try and win the 50-50s and bowl their necks. And, and they did that for me today. Charlie, uh, he made the goalie switch after the first quarter. Was that as much just to ignite the offense or the defense at that point, just to have something to change uh, in that spot? Or was it a little bit of, you know, kind of saving Jacob from getting shelled a little bit more? Yeah, I think it was a little both. You know, again, you jump into a zone and you get the look that you want. And when that one goes in, you're just like, oh, all right, maybe he's not seen it today. But, when you start off, you know, with five goals inside seven yards, and you know, I think he had one coming down the alley where it hit him, and he, he just held the pipe like we asked him to do. Um, it was tough. I mean, it was tough, and he's a freshman out there, and the lights that we talked about it are going to be a little bit brighter, and the fans and the hearing, you know, the communication, and that that was probably the biggest thing that our team didn't do today was communicate, and uh, you know, it, it starts with David Manning, and it, and it, and it sometimes you know, ends up in that goal, um, you know, to get guys to the right spots. Um, I just didn't want him to go through a, a, a second quarter similar to the first quarter. And sometimes changing your goalie can jumpstart your defense. And I thought Grant, uh, Grant came in there and, and, and did a good job for us. Charlie, can you talk more about Cloutier, just all the things he was able to do today, the things that he was obviously good to solve? Yeah. Um, you know, he's a strong left-hander. He's, he's, you know, he's, he's a Canadian finisher, and uh, you know, when it's he, he's a bull dodger that that will run through checks. And if you don't take a good solid approach and, and kind of you're physical with him, top side, um, and push him off of his line, then uh, 
then he's going to run through the head of your stick and he's going to finish it. And, you know, that's uh, that's a tough pill to swallow because as good as we've been, you know, I think Bruckner hurt us early in this tournament. We made the adjustment at halftime and, you know, we were able to kind of clamp down on a, on a kid very similar to Cloutier. Today it really didn't happen for us. Um, we just we just didn't really get that second that we needed when uh, when David was kind of a half step off. Of and, and credit North Carolina, they found him and it, the kid flat out finished him. You talked about the emotion with which UNC played. Uh, they're the only unseen team here. Did you kind of sense that they were playing without the lose and once it got going and they just sort of built on that momentum? No, I mean, we really don't pay attention to the other locker room. We kind of evaluate personnel and come up with a game plan. So we knew that they were a good team. We watched every film of, of the games that they've played this year. And, you know, we, we, we knew that um, if we could make it a, a, a a game where we could dig in and battle defensively um, and make the 50-50, you know, win-loss margin at the X, we'd give ourselves a chance because we thought we could score. And, um, you know, again, I, it just didn't happen in that first quarter in a game that got slipped away from us a little bit. Um, but hats off to them. They are playing with that emotion. And um, we clawed back into it in the riding game a little bit. I thought we got the ball back a few times. But uh, but that was just it. We were, we were clawing at that point. And, uh, you know, they, they made the place when they had to.